Did you know that currently a lot of people are considering quitting their broiler farming business because they are not getting the right results? And 40% of these people are only getting the wrong results because they are choosing the wrong breed. So which breed of broiler is best for you? You see, there's no one answer to this question. You have to answer it for yourself and your customers. Which breed of broiler is best for you? So welcome once again to DIY Hagrick. I'm your animal scientist and your poultry success partner. Stick with me as I educate you. I show you which breed is best for you based on the figures, the data that I'll be putting here on this video. Come along. So this video is like the concluding part to a previous video that I did earlier. I'll be dropping the link in the description below. So it's a concluding part to that video on broiler breeds and which one is best for you based on some qualities that you see in different breeds. So basically in this video now, I'll be talking about the three most common breeds in Nigeria. We have the Ross 308, the Cobb 500 and the Abo Eka. I think I'll hard one to that. Yeah, I'll hard one. I think I'll start with the Ross 308. Ross 308 has excellent feed conversion ratio. I think we need to clap for this breed. Excellent feed conversion ratio, but within the first one to six weeks, yes, you need to put that in mind. They have the best feed conversion ratio within the first six weeks of production what does this mean it means beyond six weeks their productivity their growth rate decreases and that's not good for the farmer so if you're somebody who raises beds for processing and all that or you prefer to hit the very tender meat then the six weeks game is for you and Ross 308 is the best at this game called the six weeks game Ross 308 has the best feed conversion ratio between one to six weeks and apart from that one thing you also need to know is that they are short yes this breed is short you have to put that in mind so if you are considering going for uh, a broiler that will grow tall Ross 308 is not the one for you yes Another benefit now, I'm kind of mixing the benefits and disadvantage, which is sh being short is not really a disadvantage if you don't need them to be tall. Yeah. So another benefit is that they can withstand cold better than other breeds. Yes, they are cold resistant breed. Rosterate can do well in cold regions. So that's one thing you want to put in mind. If it is during the rainy season and you want to stock, if uh, the environmental condition is one reason why you want to choose a breed, then you can go for the Ross 308. They are good with cold weather. But since I said they are cold resistant, you should know that they don't like it too. They don't like it. Ross 308 will, will not respond well to heat. It often triggers CRD in these beds. It triggers the mycoplasma, which is usually very available among the flock. It's just waiting for stress to come up as CRD. So it triggers CRD in this breed. They don't like it. I know all breeds of broilers don't like it, but this breed is even not tolerant to it at all. Yes, on this other side is Cobb 500. Wow, this is like the overall best breed for me but take note if you are looking at the six weeks game this is a no-no but if you want your birds to stay on your farm for up to eight weeks and nine weeks and even ten weeks if you like yes the cob is a master at that game beyond six weeks they start to shoot really high they start to grow really fast and you just see them grow into a tall animal you see them grow into a tall chicken so rust the rust really don't forget i said earlier is short but this cob is taller than the rust yes cob 500 is taller than the rust and they can they are they are good for eight weeks to nine weeks game another thing you need to know is that they are they tolerate it better and they don't like cold just like a comparison what rust does not like cob still manages what cob likes ross does not like so it's just like that and although this is like um, a general attribute for broilers but the cob 
500 usually has a very very massive breast the, their breast meat is usually very massive so i want to give it up to this cup 500 they are excellent they are excellent no people in africa prefer tough meat so to a great extent i want to say uh cup 500 still has it and they are cheaper they are cheaper to get compared to the ross the ross is usually more expensive because it's an whole season something the, the people that go into broiler processing they prefer the ross because they want birds that will grow real fast within six weeks or even five four five weeks they can start to process the ross 308 unlike the cob cob prefers to be raised for seven eight nine and even ten weeks so that's that about the cob yeah in the middle is our guy the harbor acre the harbor acre like stands in between this breed has also found its way into the broiler processing plant if you are not able to go for the ross you go for the harbor acre they too can be raised within six weeks and you still get a very reasonable weight their fcr feed conversion ratio is very good very good at one to six weeks very good they too don't really like uh, staying on your farm for up to seven eight nine ten weeks but still better than the ross ross does not want to stay with you for over six weeks no 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 they just want to go they want to go after six weeks but you can still push the harbor hacker beyond six weeks a little and they are taller they are a little taller than the ross but there's one guy that i just feel i should mention the marshall the marshall breed in nigeria the obasanjo farms provide us with the marshall breed this breed are the tallest yes i believe they are the tallest in the market so if you're looking for height you can go for the marshall they even supply male line so that your birds can all be male marshall is tall they are massive they can stay for 12 weeks they are the type that like to stay on your farm for even up to three months that's 12 weeks so that's the difference between the ross 308 the cop 500 the harbor Eka, and the marshall breed i hope you've gained something yes if you've gotten value from this video please rush down there and give us a thumbs up subscribe to this channel so you can be among our community this is a blessed community is a wonderful community where i bless you with tips that will help you to succeed in poultry farming you don't know what's coming next so please click the subscribe button now and if you want notifications when new videos are dropped please click the bell button to get notifications thank you so much i love you bye, -bye.